The following are test procedures for filling cylinders measuring 4 inches by 8 inches or 6 inches by 12 inches using concrete with a slump greater than or equal to 1 inch. When using 6 by 12 cylinders, fill the mold in three equal layers by volume using a 5 8 inch diameter rod. When using 4 by 8 cylinders, fill the mold in two equal layers by volume using a 3 8 inch diameter rod. Individual samples are to be combined and remixed with a shovel the minimum amount necessary to ensure uniformity. Dampen your testing equipment as required by the specification. Use a scoop to place concrete in the mold. Use care to distribute the material evenly around the perimeter of the mold. For the first layer, fill the mold with the appropriate quantity of concrete, approximately half the volume for a four by eight mold. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section with the rounded end of the rod. Rod the layer throughout its depth using care not to damage the bottom of the mold. Tap the outsides of the mold lightly 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close any holes left by rotting and to release any large air bubbles that may have been trapped. For the second layer, fill the mold with the appropriate quantity of concrete. Fill the 4x8 mold to the top. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section with the rounded end of the rod. Rod through the layer and into the layer below approximately one inch. Tap the outsides of the mold lightly 10 to 15 times with the mallet to close any holes left by rotting and to release any large air bubbles that may have been trapped. During consolidation of the top layer, adjust the concrete level of underfilled and overfilled molds if necessary. Strike off any excess concrete with the tamping rod or with a handheld float or trowel if appropriate to produce a flat, even surface. Provide protection to prevent sample moisture loss. Ensure that the specimen is marked to identify the concrete it represents and immediately move the specimen to an initial curing place for storage.